What a day. First, I got stopped by the police less than two minutes into my ride. Then I slipped and fell when I happened to not be wearing elbow pads. Of course I fall when I don't wear my elbow pad. And then I got really wet. I'm not sure if you guys can see in the in the footage, but it's starting to rain pretty hard now. So uh, I'm gonna cut this range test short and do it as, do it some other time. Although the Walgo AT2 all-terrain electric skateboard is supposedly highly water resistant, I don't enjoy riding in the rain, so I ended up canceling the range test halfway. After the weather clears up and I get to ride the board some more, I'll write an in-depth review and post it on my website, thequine.com. But for now, let me give you my first impressions and tell you all the things that stood out to me. Dramatic tires. Finally, we've entered the era of $1,000 all-terrain boards that use pneumatic tires. Previously, the $1,000 AT boards all used various airless honeycomb tires. Pneumatic tires feel so much better. Not only are they better at absorbing vibrations, you can adjust how much air is in the tires according to the type of terrain you want to ride on. I'll make a separate video about this when I get the chance, but basically, less air for bad terrain, more air for smooth roads. By the way, these rims are made of aluminum. They're not plastic, in case you're wondering. Two in one. The Walgo AT2 can be purchased with 175 millimeter wheels with pneumatic tires, the 120 millimeter cloud wheels, or both. The pneumatics are great for off-roading, and the smaller but still big cloud wheels are more for urban street use. Each set of wheels come with its own set of pulleys to give you the appropriate amount of torque. The AT wheels use a gear ratio of 66 to 15, meaning 66 teeth on the big gear and 15 teeth on the small gear. The cloud wheels use a ratio of 40 to 15, and the pulley is compatible with any wheel that uses the ABEC clone core. Countless configurations. Instead of having only a few wheel sizes to choose from, the Walgo AT2 remote lets you choose any wheel size from 80 millimeters to 200 millimeters. You can also choose any drive ratio from 1.0 to 18.0. What that means is even if you use third-party wheels and third-party pulleys, you can still have the remote show accurate speed and distance measurements. Bend overless on off. This is one of my favorite features and I hope all boards have this one day. You can now turn the board on and off using only the remote. To me, this is similar to having keyless entry and keyless ignition on a car. Inserting a key is not that big of a deal and you don't save that much time by going keyless. But once you go keyless, you don't want to go back to using a key. Likewise, once you can turn a board on and off using a remote, you don't want to go back to bending over to press a button. I'll have more detail about this in my in-depth review. Heat dissipation. The Walgo AT2 is designed to handle heat dissipation better than its competitors. These motors are huge. If you plan on riding up hills with big pneumatic tires in 30 degrees Celsius weather and you weigh like 100 kilograms, you're gonna want big motors that can handle the heat. In addition to big motors, the AT2 has a large heat sink made of aluminum attached to the ESC. The computer on your desk performs better when it's cooler, and the same goes for the computer inside your board. Appearance Walgo had a crowdsourcing contest for the grip tape design, which in my opinion, and I'm sorry if this insults anyone who participated, but in my opinion, did not produce very good results. I guess nobody told Walgo that professional designers do not like crowdsourced design projects at all. Walgo ended up going with their original design, which isn't exactly original, but it does at least look much better in person than it does in the product photos. 
From a distance, the enclosure on the bottom looks very similar to the enclosures used on some of the AT2's direct competitors in the same price range. But when you look closer, it actually looks a lot better. The plastic looks better, and the shape looks like someone actually put some effort into the design. Initial impressions. Obviously, I haven't spent enough time on the Walgo AT2 to be able to give a proper review. But based on my initial ride and based on this board's features, I think this board is going to be a good benchmark for the many all-terrain boards coming out in the second half of this year. I look forward to riding it again on a dry day so I can actually carve and ride on grass without splashing mud on myself. I don't know what's up with the weather lately. I have never experienced such a long raining season here in Shanghai. 